Hey YouTube, today's video is going to be about this pretty nice shaped, you know, Arians 1028. It looks like it's barely been used. Um, and uh, I had this in for service this year already. And, you know, I just did what I always did to it and everything checked out like usual. And the guy um, said the next snowstorm like the first snowstorm, oh, it, it doesn't seem to have power, and, uh, you know, I couldn't understand why, because the engine runs fine, it runs perfect, starts right up first pull. And, um, you know, I checked the augers, and they spin perfect, you know, it's the weirdest thing. But the gears inside of this junk aluminum gearbox are just worn enough that they slip when it hits snow, but they spin fine when there's no snow. So... Yeah, see? Junk. If I can spin that without the uh, fan bearing moving, that gearbox is junk. And it didn't do this when I had it. So, it's it's weird. And it, um, it had a sheared pin, too. So it must have been spinning and it hit something. I don't know. But the moral of the story is, I have a brand new... Um, assembly for it that I'm going to install today and I'll show you how to do it. First thing you're going to do is uh, take out this um, belt cover here and then the um, this belt cover will come off and it will expose two bolts I believe and then you're going to take this off. Some people forget and they can't figure out how to split the machine but it's like a little cotter pin kind of thing and then uh, it should be two bolts plus the cover and then this and it will split right apart. So now what you want to do is take this pin out. And you split them just like that. So what you're going to do now is take off this pulley. Some of them are like this, which is the good kind, and some of them don't have a hub where the pulley bolts on. And you got to use, for the ones that don't have a bolt on pulley, use a pickle or a tie rod puller. And you stick it under there and you hit it with a hammer and it will come off. Or you can do the hard ass method and cut it off with a whizzer and then use a uh, grinder. But this is a lot easier. So you got the pulley off. And then uh, you can just put a three-jaw puller on that and it'll come right off, hopefully. We shall see. Okay, so we got the impact gun hooked up on a uh, impact socket that I don't really care about. So hopefully this will work. Yeah, it's coming. Gotta get a smaller socket now. But it definitely moved, so that's good. Okay, so hopefully with the new socket, this should come off better. Almost there. Needs a little bit longer socket. Okay, here we go again. Longer socket. Should be quick, hopefully. Done. Now there's three seven sixteenths. Nuts.
Don't tighten it with that because you will break. You will break it. So now I'm gonna get this and this off. Now each side of the housing of the blower has seven sixteenths uh, bolts, and I tend to take these out. It makes it easier. You don't have to, but that's just my preference. And then um, you gotta take out this, this bolt here. And same with the other side. And then nothing will be holding the um, rakes and the gearbox in place. And they'll fall out. And you can just take this chute, pick it up, and you'll have your gearbox and your fan. So I'll show you. Okay, so once you wedge a screwdriver in here and hit it with a hammer, these will come out, and then there's your, there it is, empty. And here's your fan and bearing. And no way, the bearing's not seized on there, so that's good news. But yeah, we will get that together. The new uh, gearbox is on my bench. So now comes the tricky part. There's two roll pins in that fan. Um, sometimes they come out easy, sometimes they don't. Um, and then half the time, or 90% of the time I should say, this fan won't actually come off um, once you get these roll pins out. So hopefully these will go pretty easy. Yep, that one moved. There's one. And there's two. Easy as that. Now I'll just get a longer punch. I didn't want to. The worst thing you can do is get a punch that's too small. And um, when that happens, the punch gets stuck inside the roll pin. And uh, at that point, you become shit out of luck. So I try to use a punch that's Almost as big as the, see that suck stuck on there, it sucks. Yeah, I, I try to use a punch just about as big as the roll pin. It seems obvious, but some people don't think about that. Again, an obvious tip, if you can't get the bearing off, sand the shaft. Um, I know there's a lot of younger uh, kids and teenagers watching my videos, so I figure why not state the obvious than have someone sit there and break bearings and bugger the shafts and stuff so um, everyone can benefit from it so yeah sand the shaft with some sandpaper preferably a nice you know long strip but I don't I ran out on my last snowblower job that entailed this kinda work here so I'll just sand it down and that bearing should pop right off so of course the fan doesn't come off on the first try um, so about the augers, they are directional, so you have to put them on the right way or it will not blow snow. So what I usually do is uh, I take one and I just put it on the other, other side of the shop exactly how it came off of this. This will go right there in the corner this. We'll go over here. Yeah, don't mix those up because they're really kind of annoying to get right. So I'm going to put this in the vise and see if I can't get that thing off. So it's the next day because I had to wait for my local shop 
to open with a press and I had to press this out um, of the gearbox shaft because they most of the time never come out so it's off and it's not damaged which I like and uh, I'm just gonna do a little cleaning up in here and stick it on the new gearbox and start redoing what I undid so if you're gonna do one of these 90% of the time you're gonna need a press or a uh, we used uh, it's like on a jack stand and there's a weight suspended from the ceiling in a PVC tube and you pull it all the way up to the top and it falls all the way down and it makes a lot of lot, like pressure and it pounded the shaft out in two hits so that's pretty sweet um, and uh, without further ado let's get this project back together Okay, so now that um, that has been pushed out, um, I'm just going to put this right on. I uh, filed the um, hub the circle here out with a long bastard file just to get the... Um, when you push roll pins through, it brings metal with it. So sometimes it won't let you get, it won't let you uh, put this on here. So I think I did enough of it. Alright, so back to what I said yesterday, but uh, yeah, I did put two new roll pins in there. Um, very important to file these out or it will not go back on. So I had it this way, and there's the right, and there's the left. So I'm going to pre-grease these, or this, um, and then slide those on, and there's a roll pin here and a roll pin there and then the two um, slipping my mind shear, uh, shear pins and um, then I'll put this onto here with the bearing and then I bought a new um, keyway because I kind of damaged the other one pounding it out and there's the new bearing on the floor like it shouldn't be but uh, you know, way she goes. This is the old one. It's not terribly bad, but it's good practice when you do these things to change the bearing and uh, the belt. The belt was all right, but you know, it's like, do I want to pull this apart and charge a guy labor, you know, in two years to do a belt when it will last four more? So. Okay, so now that both of the auger rakes are on and the roll pins. We're just trying to get the bearing in the shaft through the back of the snowblower housing, which we have done. And uh, this plate goes on now. It's sort of like this. And then grab a couple of these lock nuts. About 80 degrees in here. It is 80 degrees in here on a 20 degree day. I put a little bit too much wood in the stove. I'm currently sweating. What do you want? <laughs> All right, you can let go. So now just to tighten these up, and then we can start getting the keyways on, on and uh, everything else like that. All right, so now that the auger and the um, gearbox are uh, firmly secured into the housing on either side, all tightened up, uh, ready to put the pulley on, and uh, start to put the machine back together. So getting some progress. I like it. Okay, so the pulley's back on. Um, so now we're gonna put the machines together. 
Yep, just tip it right down. Yep, you're good, just drop it. We'll move yours back a little. Yeah. over there so I can just kind of stick it together a little bit. No, it's in the oh, butter really? container. Nice. Cool. So it's together. Which is good. Alright, so here's the test run. Hasn't been started in a couple days but it has been in a nice warm shop. Say job well done.